Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tenicomo. I'm out here with Jackson. I'm going to do one cast today. It's uh, Wednesday, the 13th of March. I have been under the weather the last four or five days. I've got that. Uh, whatever it is. I didn't even get tested, so I'm not sure what it was, but it was that headache, fever, congestion stuff that everybody's getting. It'll knock you down. So, um, they're not running any water today. It's in the 80s today, crazy. Um, it's supposed to get a little bit cooler this weekend. I'm up here at Lookout. If you can see right in front of Andy Wim's old house in the trophy area. Nobody up here. Where his boat came up and he went back down. A little after six. They've been midging. The sun's starting to go down behind me, so they've been midging kind of on the on the um, uh, shade line. And all I've seen are really small fish. Um, I threw a, a one twenty-fifth ounce black jig for a little bit. Caught two. One pretty decent rainbow and a small one. Um, so I'm not crazy about throwing it right now. I think a black jig or a black or really a zebra midge would work really good. But I thought I'd go ahead and try a, a micro jig first. This is kind of a kind of grayish brown micro jig with an orange head. It's about five feet under an indicator. The wind's kind of coming over my back and to my left down lake. Um, so it's blowing me off the bank, so I'm have, having to make some adjustments to keep myself close to this bank, because that's where I want to stay. I don't want to get out in the middle. This is a pretty steep bank up here by um, the turn at Lookout on this inside bank. Usually inside banks are not deep. This one is because of the swing. So I'm not very far off the bank and I'm in probably six or seven foot of water. But you can see that wind is really going to play havoc with me today. It's hard to I'd be a lot better off if I put in the boat the other way, but it's right in the sun, so I don't want to do that to you guys. This lookout hole is known for housing some big fish, big rainbows, big browns. It's got a lot of food. Like I said, it's, it's the first really deep hole below the dam, so all the stuff comes down, the shallow shoots and stuff, and it dumps into this hole. And um, it's usually a good spot to catch big fish. I know a lot of the bigger browns that have been seen by guides or normally in this area. Uh, not always, but it's not surprising to see a, a very large fish up in this, this hole. Um, not necessarily targeting big fish today. I'd be throwing something a little bigger. Jack, that nut's really kind of got you messed up, huh?
that wind is just it's of course it's late in the evening so it's going to decline but it's kind of come and go it's not the best for my jig when it's not blowing but it's still not bad i'll go to a zebra midge here in a minute if i don't get anything on this Jackson, you're just having a hard time this evening. <laughs> so when there's well, a big, decent fish jumped. When there's no chop on the water, I want to move the float. Give the jig a little bit of action. I noticed they ran some water yesterday um, at dark, or before dark, because I was out fishing a little bit last evening I actually took a steroid pill first time in my life yesterday a little tiny tiny one took one in the morning and one in the evening and it it, it knocked whatever it was out the only problem is it kept me up to like three in the morning this morning I'm not real sure if I like steroids. But I was out fishing last evening out in front of the resort. And I heard the horn blew and water started running about 30 minutes later. I thought, well, it'd be nice to come out here this evening if they were going to run water. Um, I'd like to catch that. I'd like to go all the way to the cable and and fish that rising water the last 30 minutes of the day, but they did not run water at all today. Okay, I think the midge bite's going to be a lot better, especially if the wind doesn't continue to blow. Fish are midging pretty actively. The only issue I have is all I'm seeing are small rainbows. That doesn't mean I won't catch anything decent. I just last few times I've been out, I've done pretty good. I just all small fish. Can't complain too much about catching fish. But man, they are jumping like crazy. Okay. I'm going to put this on spot lock. I'm not sure how it should hold me here for a minute. And I'll be back in a minute with another fly. Okay. So I put on a number 14 black zebra midge with a gold head, gold ribbing, 6x tippet to a float, which is a great big toothpick sticking out. And it's about two foot deep. 
And Jack still doesn't want to get up on the deck. He's getting a little funny in his old age. Um, got a problem. I have a problem. My float is not big enough to float this zebra bitch. So I'm gonna have to retie. Okay, I've decided to go to a 16 black zebra midge. Because I know I'll probably get more bites on it. Rather than a 14. And I got a bigger float. About the same depth. And the wind's picked up. And it's really shifting around directions, so. <clears throat> Where is my float? <laughs> okay. I just had my float sitting out there and I, it wasn't around. So a little rainbow came by and ate it. There you go. Thank you. That was probably a natural because he was small. So I, I could target a fish that come up in midge, but it seems like there's just a lot of fish in this area, so I'm just going to... Leave it out there a minute and then set the hook on a fish. That's small. And this wind can push me out in the middle in no time flat if I'm not careful. I really don't want to be out there. There's there's just too many fish over here against this bank. I'm just about, I don't have the sun as a problem if I want to turn the boat around, but it's not the problem. The wind's coming right off the bank behind me. So there's, there's fish midging between me and the bank right up here. That's how close they are to the bank. Oh, that's him. See, I'd like to keep where I'm fishing in the view of the camera instead of out here. That's why, <laughs> hate to say it, that's why this video, these videos are so different is because we show the real issues in fishing and not just ah, all the perfect scenarios. 
that you see on regular, what in the world? Yeah. See? <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I feel like just bringing out two anchors and, and dropping them off the front and the back and just sitting here. Let's see if I can do this. I am going to put my motor in the mud. turn and maybe be able to control my boat a little bit. There. I can relax a minute. I mean, if I didn't have the camera, I wouldn't necessarily worry about which way the boat's pointing and whatnot. Although it'd still be kind of a struggle to keep myself on the bank. There's a fish out there. And there are fish midging out in the middle. But um, I just don't want to get out there and fight the wind. It's probably worse out there than up here against the bank. This one's a little better. I haven't really seen it yet. Eh, he's okay. He's pretty. I don't want to get off this bank. God, lay the wind. Push me out. Okay. Control motor's in the moss, and I've got it on spot lock. And it came off spot lock. Yeah, come it. It's really whipping. And then it'll just die. Welcome to March. My troll motor is cutting up a bunch of the moss and stuff. It's out floating in front of me now.
See, the zebra midges can catch big fish. Bigger fish. Right? Hold on. I knew you were going to do that. Uh-uh. Oh, you got yourself all wound up. Okay. There we go. Hey Jack, he must be. He sat in the house with me for three days, so he didn't get out much. You shouldn't be as tired. Maybe you caught my cold. You are sniffing a little bit. Hmm? Dogs catch COVID. Okay. fish I released is just kind of sitting down there. There, there you go. Bothering me a little bit. See him laying on the bottom. There's no way he would have been hurt. But you never know. Okay, I can relax again. <sighs> Fishing's work sometimes. I went down to the house that we rent down the road this morning to do something and we use the garage for storage and those families stand out excuse me stand down there and jack are you gonna come up here come on <laughs> you've jumped up here a hundred times you just spooked of something oh right there he managed right there in front. Holy floats. Um, yeah, this kid came running up the hill. There he got it. Come, come up the hill from the dock, and uh, he said something. He said, "Well, fishing isn't very good today." And I said, yeah, sometimes it's fishing and not catching. But, and I looked out in front of the dock they were fishing off of and water was just flat. The sun had come up over the bluff and it was sunny and, and I should have, and I almost said, just wait 30 minutes or so, the wind will come up, fish will start biting. <clears throat> and I came, I had come back down about 30 minutes later for, not even that, and um, walked around back, and they were reeling in a fish, and the wind had started blowing, and there was a chop on the water, and I said to myself, I missed the opportunity to call it, because that's what happened. The fish bite. Ooh, that's a good fish. The fish bite when there's a chop on the water. And this is 
the opposite of a big fish. Oh, my motor broke loose in the back. He's pretty. He's not a natural. He's missing a pectoral fin. So he's just a small stalker. This, hold on. Okay. These rainbows, they cruise around looking for these midges that are hatching. So you can actually, unless you're targeting a fish, you can actually leave this midge out there in one place for quite a while until one finds it. But if you see one come up and you know he's eating, and especially if you can tell which direction he's swimming, you can go ahead and recast at that fish. Otherwise, just leave it out there. motors. No, I thought it was stuck in the mud. So now they're starting to come off the bank a little bit because the shade's extended all the way across the lake now, so not necessarily crowded up on the bank, but I'm still going to stay over here. Just with the hook set. Let me put another zebra edge on real quick.
I just need to get a whole bunch of those size. Big enough to Okay, I got the same size midge, it's green instead of black. Oops, sorry Jack. It's actually starting to get a little chilly. That sun went down. And I think I've said this before, but losing this weight, I get cold really quick. Really easy. Oh, that must be a little one. I'm gonna steer clear of that. That's twice I've missed him. Usually that's the case. Oh. Oh, yeah, school of little ones out there. A lot of people have asked me how I've dropped weight. And this simple answer is just cutting out wheat. I was having a lot of um, indigestion problems. I don't know if I all of a sudden got an allergic reaction to wheat or whatever. I mean, it's, it was never anything bad. I Sometimes I would break out. Um, after eating bread, but I just cut out wheat is the main thing and just watch what I ate. I, I, try to drink water. It's one of the hardest things to do is drinking water.
but I've dropped about 30 pounds since November. Ah, he wasn't very big. I am now at a weight that I have not been since I was in my 20s. That feels pretty good. See, I had I had my float in the shot and the boat swung. I know my dad, when he got older and started losing weight, <clears throat> and he never had a problem with cold weather and being cold, but in his older age, he, he had issues. He didn't like cold. He got cold easy. And I think that's it's an age issue, too. It's a lot of people. You just have to dress warmer. But I am starting to get chilled, so I'm going to probably head in pretty quick. Besides, I'm missing a lot of fish all of a sudden. Jack, you want to go home? Dang, didn't even lift his head. All right. I think it's been almost two weeks since I've been on one cast, so. I didn't realize I hadn't been fishing much, so I need to get out and do a little bit more. So thanks for watching, uh, probably see you tomorrow.